guys, Heavy Metal 95 here. I wanted to do a brand new video like this because, in case you all wonder, if, just to save a little budget on here when it comes to making sh patches out of things that don't fit you anymore, especially like you want to save up to money for some patches. In honor of that, because I saw videos of YouTubers making back patches out of t-shirts and even on those YouTube shorts when they were making their first battle vest they cut out the logo of the band name on it like they wanted to make a patch out of them because just to give you for the fact for this as well because let's take for example because we're gonna be talking about making patches out of old t-shirts so let's begin because for those if you have been familiar to this as well because I just want to giving you want to come by on that accordingly because especially if you wanted to starting a brand new video like this because I wanted to talk about making patches out of t-shirts like if you if you don't have a if you're low if you're want to save your money and little budget on this because like especially you want to make a t-shirt patches out of t-shirts like these big logo patches let's take a note for example because for example for that as well because let's say I have let's say I have my Metallica t-shirt right here it's just the band logo on here I do have another one like this that I've worn yesterday with those I think I have it somewhere because yeah just for example like this as well although I I don't know why I have three Metallica t-shirts with the just the logo on there I mean here's the thing Yeah, this is an old t-shirt, like this, for example, because, yeah, there's a little hole, there's some holes on there, but y you get the point, what I mean. Like, I'm harvesting for if you want to make a patch out of old t-shirts on here, let's say, like, you have this one, yeah, you can make a patch out of this one, because for this as well because I'm doing a little demonstration for this on that as well because or you can use this when if you ever whenever you like as well because you can make a patch out of it as well because I just wanted to come by for the well this is an old Metallica t-shirt this is from 2014 and yes, this is an extra large on there because you can use this as to make a patch out of this as well because as long as you cut out the logo, as long as you don't mess it up, then that's fine because like you want it to ha like you want this logo on that like once you cut or around it as well and you can make a patch out of this one because like if you're gonna especially if you're cutting out of an old t-shirt and you want to put it on your vest as well because especially I just wanted to come by you wanted to make a patch out of old t-shirts right because I just wanted to come by for this as well and this is the real reason why I wanted to talk about making patches out of t-shirts whether if you had this one as well because here's the thing because according to instructables.com you can make patches out of t-shirts 
if you have sewing and a th thread and a scissor, pair of scissors, if you could find anything that is woven, interfacing stuff, or some iron-ons, and some, if you have a sewing kit, or if you have a sewing machine, especially if you have an electric iron and a ironing board and a dish towel, if you could choose an image, like once you want to make a t -sh patches out of t-shirts, next you're going to need is that, like you could just cut the image out of a t-shirt, let's say I have my Metallica t-shirt right here, yeah it's my old one as well because I've been worn this throughout the years and throughout my life. Because I've been wearing this t-shirt since 2010s. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, you can make a, t a patch out of a t-shirt as well because... It's just easier way if you could, like, save some money, though. Like, you want to make patches out of a t-shirt as well because... This is... The real reason why, if you can get one of those iron-on interfacing you have on the back of the image on there, and then once you make it, you have a vintage style patch. If you get ready to stitch it onto your your jacket or your battle jacket, let's say for example, like my vest on here, it's just harder to come by. Like if you want to sew it onto your vest, because I have all my patches and button pins. Like, if you want to have the Meta Metallica logo patch, you can put it on top right there. Like, if I could, once I start a brand new vest, a brand new battle vest as well, because I just wanted to giving things to come by on that as well. Bell, because I still must figure it out a way of whenever you're going to start a a battle vest because if you can make patches out of old t-shirts like this as well yeah it's particularly if you if you ever wanted to come by on making a, a battle jacket out of t-shirt well technically you have to make um patches out of t-shirts because this is the real reason why because <clears throat> according to the page making patches out of your old t-shirts on inter um, this website called Autodesk Instructables Online because I just saw an article about it uh, I saw a post about it like you want to make patches out of your old t-shirts because this is the biggest thing. Like, you could sew it, you could stitch it onto your... Especially if you can put... Like, you want to sewing it on around your homemade patch out of t-shirts like this by using the stitch on it. Like, you could... You could eat, whether you can sew it onto your bag, your jacket, or your your vet, your hoodie, or your vest. It's like, my battle vest that I shown you earlier, though, because I just wanted to come by for this as well, because this is one of them, especially if you have some new want to come, ever wanted to come by. <coughs> Like, you're sewing patches with the stitching on it onto your vest as well. Like, and there is even other sites. Like, you can turn t-shirt graphic into a patch. If you ever want to come by. Like, if you want to make a battle, a back patch. But that would be in the next video which will which which I'll get to cover that next time maybe in the future video probably 
because I, there's a lot of videos on making patches out of a t old t-shirts because especially if you have a scissors sewing kits or if you have a sewing machine as well and you have this stitch on the pat your homemade patch out of an old t-shirt like if you want to sew it onto your battle jacket like for example like my battle jacket right here because this is the first time I wanted to show you this as well accordingly because I just wanted to talk you know it's just that I wanted to talk about making patches out of your old t-shirts is the easiest way in order to save a little budget just to save you time and money when you want to make patches out of a t-shirt as well because this is actually one of them for, for the most part as well in case if if y'all don't know as well yeah and this is one of them because if just to save you time and effort to save you I guess you want to save a little budget. If you want to save your money, if you want to get at some more patches, that's fine. I mean, if you want to get pat, okay. Before we finish off of the video, if you want to save your money for, if you want to buy patches, is like if you spend a lot of money on patches, that's fine. I don't blame you. But if you want to save a little bit on if you want to buy some patches, and if you want to make a pat your patch out of an old T-shirt like this, just to save you time and money to save a little budget, then this will give you time and effort. Like if you want to sew it onto your jacket or your your vest, most significantly like my battle vest, for example, because I just wanted to come by because more different than uh, embroidered iron-on patches, because, you know, iron-on patches just, like, falls out off of your vest, like, due to the heat as well, or if you're feeling hot, like, during this, this, the hot air in the summer as well, and you want to have the whole thing, as long as you sew them onto your vest, that'll last you a lot more longer, because that is one of them. Pretty soon I will get sewing kits so I could sew my, my patches on my battle jacket because because well, I'm st I have a feeling I'm have ideas to starting a new battle jacket that's why and that's for the most part as well so that's gonna be it for my video for today thank you for watching subscribe to my channel especially if you're new to the channel smack the like button if you enjoyed the video hit the notifications bell button be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates if you miss anything new. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below about, like, about what do you think about making patches out of an old t-shirt that won't fit you on there. Let me know your, your comments will be posted in the comment section below. So, I know today's Friday. This is Heavy Metal 95 saying thank you for watching my video, and I'm glad you liked it. hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe and stay healthy, and hope you all have a great weekend. This is Heavy Metal 95 signing off, and thank you for watching my video. And I'll see you soon for more videos I got on plan for what's in store for more here. Because I know tomorrow's going to be June, that's why. Take care. Stay tuned for more surprises that are coming on the way. Hope to see you soon for more. Take care. Goodbye for now.